started with the first topic. All right. Um, All right. And it is uh, just a very newsworthy topic for us locally that you were in Michael Moore's movie. And I was wondering what response you got from being in his movie. Oh, a couple of differing responses. Some people very supportive and uh, uh, liked it. Um, uh, what I said was very short, like an exclamation point to the point that Michael Moore was saying, where he is talking about the economy and uh, really how bad it is. And I was affirming that. So then responses are, I uh, challenge capitalism to its core, and uh, that brought some uh, angry responses in the local paper, and, uh, and uh, people, yeah, from the local paper in particular, and a few that saw the movie. Uh, others uh, are supportive, but again, not uh, a lot was said about the very structure of capitalism in itself. Mm -hmm. Michael Moore makes allusion to it as <clears throat> Uh, not a good structure, and I affirmed it, and I called it a, a radical evil, mm -hmm. and that uh, got responses. So anyway, it's so positive and negative. I mean, did people call you or confront you directly, or how did, how did uh, it by out? mail and yeah, in the newspaper and uh, by mail, a couple of people. Yes. What's your reaction to that kind of criticism? When you, when you receive it. It's an opportunity to try to communicate a grander vision, mm -hmm. grander meaning, a better way of structuring our world and our society. And that what is, the violence of what is, is not acceptable. And, uh, and so this opportunity to talk to folks today on this, uh, this film is an example, an opportunity to go deeper and look at our our society and our economics and, and uh, confront it and, and analyze it and challenge it. Now, how did you end up in the movie and what's your connection with Michael Moore? Um, I, well, Michael had been in Flint, Michigan and he had founded the Flint Voice, which became the Michigan Voice. I'd been interviewed a few times for articles in that weekly tabloid that he had while doing peace work here in the Lansing area back in the 70s. And uh, then uh, I did perform the wedding for his sister uh, in his parents' home and uh, uh, many, many years ago. And uh, he had asked me to uh, uh, be MC of an event at the state capitol. I cannot even remember exactly what the topic was. And so I MC'd the event. There were about 2,000 people there. It was, it was a big event. I haven't met him uh, person. Personally, I don't know him personally. I haven't met him in person. What is he like? What's Michael Moore like? There is a certain shyness actually to him, and uh, um, he really is what you see. He really is disarming the way he uh, really is interested in people. He really likes people, and uh, even those that disagree, he uh, he reaches out and he even tries to connect with them. And also, he is a social commentator, and so he challenges. And his movies are all about challenging what I call the violence of our systems in our, in our society. And he's great at it. And he, he can be dramatic and uh, forceful and creative. He, he uses humor uh, in dealing with these heavy kinds of topics, like the economy, uh, the medical systems we have, uh, you know, corporate greed, uh, all these things. So did you feel like a movie star? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm glad to affirm uh, uh, all that is pa uh, that, uh, that's passing kind of stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how do we utilize what we have to communicate what our passion really is, namely you know, I want a world where it's easier for human beings to love each other and respect each other and respect the earth. That's what it's about. So I guess Michael's, I mean, there's a lot of technology out there in film, television. Yeah. I mean, he's using that technology to make a better world. That's right. That's, that's right. I guess flame, fame can be fleeting, but yeah. sustainable earth would... Yeah, so it's not about me, outcome. it's about mm -hmm. the issues of all of us. Yeah. 